about it, people wake up in the morning, uh, they begin to think about their problems. Those problems are circuits of memories in the brain. Each one of those memories are connected to people and things at certain times and places. And if the brain is a record of the past, the moment they start their day, they're already thinking in the past. Each one of those memories has an emotion. Emotions are the end product of past experiences. So the moment they recall those memories of their problems, they all of a sudden feel unhappy, they feel sad, they feel pain. Now, how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. So the person's entire state of being when they start their day is in the past. So what does that mean? The familiar past will sooner or later be predictable future. So if you believe that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny and you can't think greater than how you feel, or feelings have become the means of thinking, by very definition of emotions, you're thinking in the past. And for the most part, you're gonna keep creating the same life. So then people grab their cell phone, they check their WhatsApp, they check their texts, they check their emails, they check Facebook, they take a picture of their feet, they post it on Facebook, they tweet something, they do Instagram, uh, they check the news, and now they feel really connected to everything that's known in their life. And then they go through a series of routine behaviors. They get out of bed on the same side, they go to the toilet, they get a cup of coffee, they take a shower, they get dressed, they drive to work the same way, they do the same things, they see the same people, they push the same emotional buttons, and that becomes the routine, and it becomes like a program. So now they've lost their free will to a program, and there's no unseen hand doing it to them. So when it comes time to change, the re redundancy of that cycle becomes a subconscious program. So. Now, 95% of who we are by the time we're 35 years old is a memorized set of behaviors, emotional reactions, unconscious habits, hardwired attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions that function like a computer program. So then, a person can say with their 5% of their conscious mind, I want to be healthy, I want to be happy, I want to be free. But the body's on a whole different program. So then, how do you begin to make those changes? Well you have to get beyond the analytical mind because what separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind is the analytical mind. When you're feeling a rush of hormones or stressed out, it's not the best time to start creating or learning new things. Sometimes, during meditation, we begin to feel more open and energized, which can lead to envisioning certain future scenarios based on our emotions. It's important to realize that most of who we are operates unconsciously. So, the first step is like lighting a match in a dark room. It brings light to what's hidden. How do we change our energy and maintain it for a long time? How long does it take to see results? Sometimes changes can happen immediately, but often it's a gradual process. Over the past six years, we've conducted extensive research, witnessing incredible transformations in our workshops. People have experienced remarkable healings and shifts in their lives. We've scanned 8,500 brains to understand what triggers change. So, what does it take to change? Most people constantly focus on their bodies and surroundings, scanning for safety. But when you shift your focus away from these things, from being someone to no one, from somewhere to nowhere, from some time to no time, you enter a state of pure consciousness. This shift is like a light turning on in the brain, marking a profound transformation. It's a moment when you're no longer bound by the usual limitations of matter, space, and time. Changing the brain and your habits takes time, but once you tap into pure consciousness, you gain the ability to transcend your former self. It's like mastering a sport. Once you understand the formula, you can refine and improve it over time. So don't be discouraged by the slow pace of change. Keep focusing on expanding your awareness and eventually you'll break free from old patterns and limitations. Changing matter, like the physical structure of your brain, doesn't happen overnight. But when you reach a state of pure consciousness, you're no longer bound by those usual rules. Consciousness is like the boss of the brain. It starts to activate or control different circuits in there. Some people think the brain creates consciousness, but it's the other way around. When you're beyond yourself, you're at your absolute best. 
But how do you get there? We teach people a formula to reach that point where they feel deeply connected to the present moment. In that state, they no longer crave the things they thought they wanted because they feel content already. Imagine living your life from that place. You'd be less judgmental, less frustrated, and more patient. So what's the formula? It starts with a clear intention, which creates coherence in the brain. But when you're stressed out, your brain gets all jumbled up. Your attention bounces around from one thing to another and your brain becomes chaotic. Living in constant stress is like living in survival mode. You're always on edge, focusing on the problems, not the solutions. When you're stressed, your attention narrows down to the immediate threat, whether it's a literal danger or just a problem you're facing. You become fixated on the outer world and your body's reactions. Your brain gets stuck in a loop of trying to predict the future based on past experiences, trapping you in a three-dimensional reality. But there's a way out. By expanding your focus, you can quiet your mind and slow down your brain waves. This shift allows you to connect with your body's natural intelligence, which restores balance and order. Your body knows how to heal itself. You just need to get out of the way and let it do its job. So, the key is to learn how to change your brain waves and break free from the cycle of stress and overthinking. When you're stuck in the past, replaying old emotions and memories, you're only making things worse. It's time to let go of the past and embrace the present moment where true healing and transformation can occur. So, you're teaching people this amazing formula to help them shift their focus, change their brain waves, and tap into that invisible field around them. Suddenly, different parts of their brain start working together. The front talks to the back, the right side connects with the left, and everything starts clicking into place. When you see both hemispheres of the brain light up like a Christmas tree, get ready for a big change. That person is going to feel alive, hopeful, and deeply in love with life. But let's talk about what happens when you're stressed out or resentful. Your heart starts beating irregularly because you're caught in a tug of war between different emotions. Your body thinks there's a danger, even if you're just sitting calmly, and it pumps out stress hormones like there's no tomorrow. Instead of using your body's natural energy to thrive, you're burning it up just to survive. That's where your heart comes in. By learning how to regulate your heart center, you can create a harmonious rhythm that spreads throughout your body. This rhythmic beat generates a magnetic field around you, reaching up to three meters wide. Suddenly, you're more energy than matter, more like a wave than a particle. And here's where it gets really interesting. This energy carries information, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and broadcasts them out into the world. When your heart is in sync and your emotions are elevated, you're sending out a powerful signal of healing and positivity. It's like tuning into a whole new frequency of life. But here's the best part. You can practice this. Just like learning any skill, you can train your heart and mind to enter this state of coherence. Start by spending a few minutes each day in a calm, centered state. Focus on bringing up positive emotions and sustaining that feeling for longer and longer periods. With practice, you'll become more familiar with this state until it becomes your natural way of being. Have you ever tried to calm yourself down on purpose when feeling down or upset? What did you do? Did you manage to focus and relax? Share your experiences with all of us below the video. And the effects are incredible. Your heart releases chemicals like oxytocin, the love hormone, which fills you with a sense of warmth and connection. Your blood vessels expand, and you literally feel like your heart is overflowing with energy and vitality. It's an amazing transformation that anyone can achieve with a little practice and dedication. Once you've experienced that amazing feeling, you won't want to trade it for anything in the world. You'll think twice before judging someone because you know it could spoil that feeling. I've seen it in our research lab. When the heart kicks into gear, it acts like a supercharger for the brain. 
It's incredible how it can reset your whole system, even if you've been carrying around anxiety or trauma for years. See, anxiety and stress stem from living in survival mode. When you're constantly on high alert, your brain defaults to the worst case scenario. You start emotionally preparing for disaster before it even happens, and that fear becomes a subconscious program running in the background. But here's the good news. You can break free from that cycle. We've seen it happen with thousands of people from all walks of life. By learning how to regulate your heart and mind, you can reset your baseline and find peace. It's like flipping a switch. Suddenly, you're not controlled by fear anymore. And here's where it gets really interesting. People who practice self-regulation and elevate their emotional states can sustain that feeling for hours on end. They'll be going about their day, and suddenly, they'll feel this overwhelming sense of love and connection. It's like a spontaneous love attack, and it's absolutely beautiful to witness. Once you've mastered this technique, nothing can shake you. You'll know that your future is already unfolding, and you'll trust that everything will come to you at the right time. There's no need to rush or compete. Just keep practicing and stay open to the possibilities. And when your dreams do come true, they'll come in ways you never expected. It'll be like a bolt from the blue, leaving you no doubt that what you've been doing inside is making a real difference in your life. When you connect what you've been doing inside yourself with the impact it has on your external world, take note of those actions and repeat them. Harness the energy and joy you feel when you see results and use it to create more. Some might argue, I act this way because of that person or situation. But consider this, if external factors control your thoughts and emotions, then you're essentially at the mercy of your surroundings. However, when you change your thoughts and feelings to influence your environment positively, you shift from being a victim to being a creator of your own life. Changing your mindset from victimhood to creatorship involves studying those who face similar challenges in history and learning from their strategies. It's like refining your skills in sports. You analyze what works and incorporate it into your approach to improve. Now, let's delve into the power of thoughts and emotions. Thoughts generate an electrical charge in the quantum field, while emotions emit a magnetic charge. Together, they create an electromagnetic signal that impacts every aspect of your life. Your thoughts send out signals, while your emotions draw events back to you. If you want to manifest something, it's not enough to just think about it. You must feel the corresponding emotions as if it's already happening. By mastering the balance between your thoughts and emotions, you can enter a cycle of creation. Sometimes, your emotions drive your thoughts, while other times, your thoughts evoke certain emotions. The key is to sustain this cycle for as long as possible because the longer you remain conscious of this energy, the more effectively you draw your desired future towards you. Traditionally, achieving your goals in the physical world involves moving through space and time. However, when you create from the quantum field, you bypass these limitations. You become a conduit for your destiny, collapsing time and space to manifest your desires effortlessly. Teaching people to operate from this paradigm means letting go of the old ways of forcing and controlling outcomes. Instead, it's about trusting and surrendering to the natural flow of life, knowing that the universe will align everything at the right moment. It's a profound shift from the familiar, but it's the path to something greater. So, let's dive into that moment of profound clarity we're striving to understand. It's something that everyone, regardless of their lifestyle or background, can experience. Whether you're gluten-free or not, a wine enthusiast or abstainer, wealthy or struggling financially, of any race, shape, or size, you can begin this journey. Age, health, physical shape, or past traumas don't limit your ability to engage in this work. We've witnessed incredible transformations from people of all walks of life, 
elders, cancer survivors, individuals battling with weight issues, or those with difficult pasts. Surprisingly, many who have never meditated before have had some of the most profound experiences. They're not overthinking it. They're simply following the guidance and letting go. Our aim is to make this process inclusive for everyone. In fact, we're planning to conduct a study involving a thousand participants to observe the effects of collective synchronization. When a large group aligns their energy and intention, the combined effect is astounding. This shared coherence generates a magnetic field that influences everyone present. This phenomenon extends to healing practices as well. By learning to manipulate energy fields, individuals can induce remarkable transformations in themselves and others. It's not about changing physical symptoms but altering the underlying energetic patterns. The potential for healing and growth within a synchronized community is immense. We've witnessed tumors shrinking, vision and hearing being restored, and even severe conditions like Parkinson's in stage 4 cancer going into remission. By tapping into this collective consciousness and addressing the root causes at an energetic level, remarkable shifts can occur. It's a testament to the power of communal intention and the boundless potential within each of us. So, here's an eye-opener. By the time we hit 35, about 95% of who we are is run by automatic programs that we're not even aware of. These are thoughts and behaviors we've repeated so often that they've become second nature. To change this, you've got to shine a light on those hidden thoughts and habits. But how do you become aware of something you're not even conscious of? It's simpler than you might think. Just take a moment to sit quietly, close your eyes, and observe your thoughts. You'll be surprised at what comes up. The key is to watch these thoughts without getting caught up in them. When you do this, you're stepping out of autopilot mode and becoming the observer of your thoughts. This process isn't always comfortable. It's like shining a light into the dark corners of your mind. You might uncover feelings you didn't even know were there, like guilt or fear. But by bringing these hidden patterns into the light, you're taking the first step towards breaking free from them. Meditation can help with this. It's all about becoming familiar with your unconscious self so that you don't get lost in it. But be warned, staying conscious takes effort and energy. You'll stumble along the way, but that's okay. Every time you catch yourself slipping back into unconsciousness, you have the opportunity to try again. And here's the thing, those moments of struggle are often the most meaningful. They're the ones that stick with you, reminding you of the journey you've been on. So, don't be discouraged by the bumps in the road. Stay present, stay aware, and remember that you have access to a world of intelligence within you. All you have to do is pay attention. So, here's the deal. To tap into the power of the quantum field, you've got to shift your focus from the material world to something deeper. That means taking your attention away from your body, your relationships, your possessions, even time itself. It's like turning off all the distractions and tuning into your own consciousness. This might sound easy, but it's actually pretty tough. We've spent our whole lives identifying with our bodies, our stuff, our routines. So, stepping back from all that takes practice. But here's the thing. When you do manage to let go of all those external distractions, you're left with something incredible, your true self. And that's where the magic happens. I've seen it firsthand. People who can quiet their minds and focus their awareness, even just for a few seconds, experience a profound shift. Suddenly, they're not defined by their past or worried about the future. They're just fully present in the moment, connected to something much bigger than themselves. So, how do you get there? It starts with awareness. You've got to shine a light on those unconscious thoughts and habits that have been running the show for so long. Meditation can help with this. It's all about becoming familiar with your own mind, noticing your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors without judgment. And yeah, it's going to be a bit of a waltz at first. 
You'll catch yourself slipping back into old patterns, but that's okay. Every moment of awareness is a step in the right direction. So, if you're ready to unlock your full potential, start by taking your attention off the external world and turning it inward. Who knows what you might discover? Imagine someone's having a tough time, negative thoughts, feeling disconnected, maybe even dealing with suicidal thoughts. It's not easy, but here's the thing. Even if they can't make it to a workshop or a program right away, there are still some simple steps they can take to start feeling better. First off, it's about gaining knowledge and understanding. Learning about different philosophies, ideas, and experiences can really shift your perspective. It's like giving your brain new tools to work with. And once you start seeing things differently, you can start asking yourself, how can I apply this to my life? That's where the real magic happens, when you take action. It might not work perfectly the first time, and that's okay. The key is to keep trying, keep learning, and keep growing. Every little step forward is a victory. As you keep at it, you'll start to notice something amazing happening. Your experiences will change, your brain will change, and even your body will start to change. It's like you're embodying all that knowledge and wisdom you've been soaking up. So, even if it feels like you're stuck in survival mode right now, remember, there's always a way forward. Keep learning, keep trying, and keep moving forward. You've got this. It's like you're learning to ride a bike. You can't just hop on one day and expect to be a pro. It takes practice, right? Well, it's the same with changing your mindset and habits. When you repeat something over and over, like practicing positive thinking or healthy habits, it starts to sink in. Your brain and body start working together like a well-oiled machine. You've done it so many times that now it's second nature. You don't even have to think about it. Just like how your body learned to react to certain situations without you even realizing it, now it's learning something new. It's like upgrading your internal software. And here's the cool part. Once you've mastered it, you don't have to force it anymore. It becomes a part of who you are. You've built up an inner strength that's stronger than anything outside of you. Negative thoughts or comments from others. They bounce right off you. It's like your mind has its own protective shield. But it's not just about blocking out the bad stuff. It's also about tuning into the good stuff, finding inspiration and motivation from within. Instead of relying on outside sources to make you feel better, you create your own happiness. It's like building your own pharmacy of positivity inside yourself. And the more you practice, the stronger it gets. Sure, it might take some time and effort. You might stumble along the way. But when you see others succeeding, it gives you hope. And before you know it, you're the one inspiring others with your own success story. So don't give up. Keep practicing, keep believing, and keep growing. The truth is right in front of you. You've got the power to change your life. If you found this content helpful and insightful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And while you're at it, why not check out the videos to your left and right for even more valuable content. Keep watching, keep learning, and keep growing with us.